What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. This is episode number 8 of My Damn Hauls. We have not been able to do these for a good long while. We haven't been able to do one since we got our Showstopper Custom Figs haul with all the Finn Balor Customs and Dolph Ziggler Customs. So I'm very excited to get back into these. I just haven't had a lot of packages come in. So I am very glad to be able to put one of these out. I have three packages here today. I don't even know what they are. I know what one of them is, but the rest, it's up in the air really. So let's go ahead and get straight into the first package. So this first package is a trade, I believe. I honestly can't even remember what this is or who I traded with because I've traded with like five people and I'm gonna have to go through my Instagram DMs in order to figure out who is getting what and where I'm supposed to be shipping things. So let's go ahead and open up this box and see what we've got inside. So what we've got here is this Jack Swagger Elite and a Heath Slater Elite. I've never owned these two figures before, so I'm very excited to have these. I wanted to expand my roster on my pick fed. So get the freak out of the ring, Jesus Christ. All right, so we got the figures finally out of the bag. And like I was saying, I have not had these figures before, so I'm very excited to finally have them. Good, good tight joints. I honestly can't remember who I traded with. I had a lot of people um, in my Instagram DMs telling me that they had these and all that good stuff but I cannot remember exactly who it was so I apologize for that but yeah I've not had these figures before they're very tight very nice the decals and everything on the paint looks very very good no paint chipping or anything like that but yeah like I said I wanted to expand my pick fed roster so I went ahead and picked up these two guys they probably won't have a big important role in my pick fed but you know it's always good to have a larger roster for battle royals and stuff like that so let's go ahead and move on to the yeah he slater falls down let's go ahead and get into the next package so this next package is one figure i believe uh i don't remember if it's a basic or an elite i'm pretty terrible on my memory right now so let's go ahead and just rip this straight open and it is all wrapped up so we will go ahead and undo all of this so now that i got him out of all his packaging and garbage I can finally see that it is the Elite 6 JTG, I believe. I think it's Elite 6. I'm sure it's JTG, obviously, but I think it's Elite 6 series. But very excited to have this figure. I was always a fan of Crime Time growing up when they uh, when they first debuted in WWE. Uh, JTG and Shad were very entertaining, in my opinion. Very funny. Had a lot of good segments when they were around. But very excited to have this figure. It's the very first time I've had this, so I guess... We're getting a lot of firsts on this episode of My Damn Halls. Just again, I picked him up to add expansion to my rosters on my pick fed. So very excited to have this figure. Very unique, as you can tell. Like, has the bandana around the knee, the Timberland boots. Just a lot of cool molds that Mattel used in this figure. But very excited to have it. And now we will get into the very last package of this episode of My Damn Halls. Alright guys, this is the very last package on this episode. But it is a very important one because in this envelope, we have the two pick fed ring skirts so I will be able to build both rings for both uh, brands and I will show those at the end of this video so stay tuned for that but before that we have to go ahead and open the envelope so let's get started alright guys here we go pulling out both ring skirts never mind the tape denies me alright here we go So you have the My Damn Toys Live or MDT Live one right here. It is black and it has the logo right there, which looks really, really nice. Very clean. And then you have the Vindication one right here, which looks really, really good as well. You have the blue on blue. I think that looked the best. I think it'll stand out really nicely, especially with the blue ropes. The yellow really uh, looks really good to accent the blue, so very excited to have this one as well. I think both look really, really nicely, but if you will stay tuned in just a few moments, I will show you, and then on this side, I put the V logo for Vindication. I love the way that looks. looks really, really clean. I will leave a link in the description below where you can order your very own custom ring skirt, but I will go ahead and build both rings, show you both arenas for both brands. Six and a half hours later. All right, finally got the MDT live ring set up. As you can see, the tape right here and over there. 
This ring was a total whore to put together. It snapped on me multiple times. Me and my wife were very frustrated. It literally took an hour and a half to put this thing together. We had to totally rig it to put it, to put it together. It did not want to stay, but it is finally up. We have the pink ring ropes. My Damn Toys Live ring skirt on there. Looks really, really nice. Very happy with the ring itself. I just wish it wasn't such a piece of trash. The Vindication one went on way better. It just looked a lot, lot better. It didn't have any problems with it. No snaps, no breaks, no anything like that. So very glad that that one didn't have any problems, but this one did. But it looks really, really nice to have this one together. Now I'm going to show you the Vindication one. All right, guys, and here we have the Vindication ring all put together. It looks really, really nice. Very pleased with the outcome. I love the yellow and blue color scheme. Wife says she likes this one better. She likes the blue better as, than the pink. And I think I may have to agree, even if I am taking control of the MDT Live brand, this one looks really, really nice, and I think it looks even better. You can see the two announce tables right there. There will be two of each. It won't be one of each on each brand, but I really am digging this. This looks absolutely amazing. Very, very happy. Very sad that the other ring was a problem, but this looks really, really good. I'm very satisfied with it. This is going to do it for this episode of My Damn Hauls. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video, comment below which ring you like better. Subscribe for more epic WWE figure related videos and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much.